Welcome back to another live stream here on twitch.tv slash Asuma where we're playing Factoria today. We've got Hamstap85 with some bananas in chat as well as Badger Spanner 23 h Stek Yif, Emerald Drain, uh, Camo J123 and Firalol and also Roani52, Mindfox54 and let's do it 53. <coughs> no, I made that up. Let's do it. 135790. By the way, peeps, I just noticed a little minor detail. My chat window doesn't have capital letters in people's names. So some of the names that are quite difficult to read are actually easier to read when you look at it on Twitch chat. You can see the capital letters. So in my defense of butchering names, okay, I've got an excuse now. Right, some names that might look easy to you, okay, they got no they're all lowercase. Makes it harder to read. Jeez. Uh Lucaro1357 has subscribed of Amazon Prime and Version Omega has subscribed at Prime as well. Thank you to the both of you for your support. I appreciate it ever so much. And I hope that you enjoy today's live stream where we are building a factory in Factorio. It's what the game is about. Uh let's tab all. Oh, there we go. I like that. That's much better. Right, we did some research last time, didn't we? I can't remember if we needed to follow it up with more research. That's what I can't remember. I can't remember at all. Personal RoboPort 2. Oh, allows... Con Wait a minute, construction robots. They're the ones that I want to work from my inventory. For the next... Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. I guess we can place down just a RoboPort somewhere. Like, why does it have to be a personal one? If I put this down with construction robots inside of it somewhere, then it will build. So maybe that's the way that we move forward. I also thought that I made two of them. Maybe there's another RoboPort somewhere. I don't see another RoboPort, peeps. We will have to make one. Alright, so in this stream, I believe what we need to do is really work on our copper and iron input. The way that we go about that, I'm not sure what the best way is. I'm also looking for something down here. Okay, let's take all of those electric mining drills. And that brings us up to 75. And now we have over 100 of those. Wow. Um, so if we need to go mine some more stuff, we got the resources to do it, basically. And it looks like this is actually backlogged way further than me making stuff. Actually, it's over here, isn't it? So I'm going to put four of those back on the belt. Okay, so that's our objective. This means we need to get a new batch of iron and copper. And we probably need to use trains to bring them to our base. We're going to be making blueprints. And then we're also going to be making a new smelting setup. Which, what do y'all want to see? I think the smelting setup should probably be made first. Link Day says, I don't really understand anything now, but I'm here. Well, welcome Link Day. Hopefully I can explain some things as we go. Uh, we need to upgrade, increase the capacity and the quantity of production for our furnace array. So these electric furnaces, we have 27 of them. And I can't remember how much it was we were going to make. Hmm. Uh, Van Defart says, hmm, I was gifted a sub. Uh, you don't have a sub next to your name, but the gifting of subs does happen. Occasionally. Uh, JSD Cool says, how long ago did this stream start? Four minutes ago. So you're here at the beginning. Pretty much. We just I just laid out my plans for the episode. Let's see if anything here is relevant as well. I don't... I, I no, Actually, we've done this a couple of times already, haven't we? The only thing that's possibly relevant is that. To make our mining more productive. But we don't really have the resources uh, at the moment for research. And I need to think about what resources I need for this. Advanced circuits, aren't we deathly low on those? X, are you a void person? I believe I am, Bennis. I believe I'm a void person. Hence the name, you know. The name's a little bit of a giveaway. Just a little bit. Wow, we've got a huge stockpile here. We can make another nine. And then we're short on steel. I'm going to grab more of those. Right, and now we're definitely low on that material. And now we can make another 15. Yeah, make all the steel furnaces, basically. For red belts, it takes 47 electric furnaces, says Winnie. Thank you, Winnie. 
So let's go for 20 on either side of the belt to begin with. Let's also zoom out. Oh, there's something else that I really want to take advantage of. Yes, yes, yes. I'm so glad my brain did that thing where it remembers and recalls. That's a, that's a good feature, isn't it? So if I want to make concrete, huh, it's a little bit more complicated than I expected. Which, which one of these am I going to like the most? Iron ore, stone brick, and water. It's going to not actually be that much of a pain if you think about where everything is. We could definitely hotchpotch this. You see, we've got water available here. Our stone is just over there, and so's our iron. We're going to be able to hotchpotch it, peeps. Also, apparently, I apparently ran out of a pick. Goodness me, let's make another one. Also, I got tea today, peeps. Tea reminders are needed frequently in chat. Olive Cat says I shaved a little of my beard to shape it, but now it itches like crazy. Oh man, I've never had a, an itchy beard problem. Uh, did that not? Oh, it's making the other things worse. I've always, uh, always found them to be quite all right. I think, I think there's one time when a beard itches. Can't think of what it is though. Hmm. I seem to recall. No, I can't. No, I don't know. <laughs> anyway, it's something that people say and think about beards, right? It's like, oh, a beard itchy. It's like, well, actually, no. By the way, if we're struggling with our iron input and like all of this has happened down here, then we can probably make a bit of a difference to begin with by getting some more iron ore, couldn't we? There it goes. So all of our iron input here is kind of starved at the very beginning. That's not good. We should definitely fix this, I think. Let's put a few more... In fact, let's put them real close together now because we need to get higher output at this point. Okay, we also need to kind of get this bit over here. Uh, is it me or is that moving incredibly slow? Apparently it's without power down the bottom here. Not sure how that managed to happen. Did we break a crucial link somewhere? Wait, the whole thing is without power? Hello, we got a, a global power shortage. What caused that? It all just went dead. Do we need like a kickstart down here? Did it slow down so much that these inserters refused to work? That's bizarre, if that's the case. Or maybe we just don't have the right amount of coal coming down here. Hmm, that was that was slightly alarming that that happened. And then everything comes back online. Hmm. I think the problem is the coal. We just don't have enough of it, do we? This could be quite problematic. And an interesting time for us to discover this as well. Right when we're vulnerable. Okay, so what we'll do is plop them real close together now so we really start to chew up the last of these resources. Which you might think is a bad strategy. We're going to replace this soon. Okay, so not only have we got to do the other stuff, we've got to do coal as well. Anyway, that should hopefully bring us back up to business as usual down here. Hmm, short over here as well. Wow. Okay, that's that's a big old distraction. I guess we started using a lot of coal over here when I picked up all that steel. So definitely don't want to do research because we're kind of clinging on a little bit here. Do we have any other coal patches nearby? Anything that can just... Because we never had a lot here to begin with, did we? So iron... We've got coal up there, 517. And that's about it. So we need to set up radars wherever we're going. I'm going to pick up our radar, which will be using power, by the way. Okay, and we're going to use that in a new spot in the future. Right, are we back to where we were? Yeah, we've just about pulled it back. That was really strange. That was really strange. It's like everything fell apart all at once there. Crazy. Okay, let's go back to fixing all these uh, belts down here. 
And we've got a noise in the ear. You are pointing in the wrong bit. And I'll read it in a second, I promise. Just got to deal with the, the distractions here at the beginning. Right, this actually needs to go uh, somewhere else here. Okay, so we can make use of those ones at the beginning as well. Which makes all of this right here useless. So, I was getting distracted by the fact that I decided to do something a little bit different. We need to take this material, that material, and get some water together. So I think that makes this spot right here kind of ideal, as we can have two repeaters pointing inwards, and then we will need some water going into here as well. So we're going to make... That's that's the one, isn't it? Yeah, that's the one. Okay. How do I get the water in? No, wait. Concrete? I'm very confused. I think we're supposed to be making concrete. That's just made from concrete. Right, so it's like... Huh. So then you have refined. I don't know what the difference between the two is, but that'll do. And luckily for us, we have... Where are we going with this? We have lots of pipes ready. Uh, didn't really follow the series. What do you need to do, says Wolfsblood. We're at, a, we're at a stage now where all we need to do is basically upgrade our inputs to support the factory that we've put in front of it. We kind of used the factory to get us all the way over to uh, robotics level, like as quick as possible. But we've done it in a way where we've got like good infrastructure. But now we need to supply that infrastructure. That's probably the best way of describing where we're at. We need to supply our infrastructure now. We've put it all in place. We need to make sure it can work. Okay, so now it just needs power. Beautiful. And we need to give it an output, actually. So it's another hodgepodge setup, but it will get the job done. Refined is faster, says one, one free. Is it? Well, it might be faster, but it adds a, a little bit of extra complexity, unfortunately. So if I go grab this stuff... And we go, right, yeah, this is what I'm talking about. You can place it on the ground like that and give it a texture. So we can actually use this to kind of create a bit of a, a walking area between where we build this stuff, which is what I've seen other people do. So this is sort of where you'd want to put it because it can go straight into there, but it doesn't really matter. I think we should start by building our iron setup around here. It will replace that. Then we can put copper below, steel below, so let's look at just over here as uh, roughly where we're going to start. I want to use those uh, stone bricks as a bit of a like guideline. So let's say we're going to go... Okay, that's all we got. Literally all we got. That's cool though. Never had that first time I played. So we'll put all of our factory stuff over on this side. Now we've got to create a layout for our furnaces. And they're both going to put onto a single belt in the middle. So we will have uh, a belt on this side coming in we will then have a furnace which I really need, oh I do actually have my hot bar belt in the middle did I do that right? One, two, one, two, three. Winnie I've just realized something uh, we, we, we're talking about setting up a <laughs> oh, strange noises we're talking about setting up a factory factory on oh goodness me you see how the words merge in my mind this is a real problem uh, we're gonna set up a factory on server aka factorio meets patreon jeez uh, and I've just realized Winnie that you know how to play this game um, would you be interested in I don't know having any input on that project playing multiplayer with our community I, I don't know really what I'm asking it just kind of occurred to me Anyway, uh, Tree is here, resubscribing for 29 months in a row. That was seven minutes ago. I'm terrible at this, aren't I? Tree, thank you ever so much for your resubscription. I appreciate it. Tree says, 29 months. Jeez, I hope you're all right, Mr. X. Much love and best wishes for 2019. I'm doing good, my man. Hope you're well as well. And thank you so much for the well wishes. Uh, we got PV Mind here, subscribing with Amazon Prime as well. PV Mind, thank you for the um, subscription. JC Miller says, how big is the map? The map is infinite, I believe. Also, it's time to drink some tea. 
It's definitely time to drink some tea. I think we don't have Winnie. I don't see... Oh, there she is. Winnie says, sure. I haven't played multiplayer before, but I could give it a shot. Cool, that's awesome. Well, I have no idea what it's going to be like on a Patreon community. It, it might not actually work. I mean, it's not quite like Minecraft, is it? Where you can go over here, I can go over there. Like, the game is sort of designed from a single player perspective, it feels like. So, uh... Anyway, you know, there might not be a lot of people that actually want to play. It might just be a small group who get together and communicate and have fun. Uh, anyway. <sighs> Delicious. Oh, goodness me, that's tasty. That is a tasty cup of tea. Whew, let's not get too distracted. Alright, so somewhere around here I want the belts um, to start, right? So the belts are going to come from above, actually. Which means we'll make use of underground belts. Right, and somewhere up here there might even be a splitter. But for the sake of throughput, we might actually have it set up like that. So, we then get the materials from up above. However, there is this whole thing with neatness. I'm kind of going, I'm kind of going off these ideas that I got from these videos, and I haven't had time to fully think them through or like soak in how other people do it so I guess us doing it in our own way is kind of fine as well now this is the default amount which is two and I think we'll actually stick to that we'll just go with the default amount now what we could do here is actually we won't leave a gap also can I oh I can pick it back up like that oh excellent oh maybe I will leave a gap I mean I can you know change my mind if I want to or I could have it go very close to where the belt is, which might look cool. Um, what I'm thinking is, we want all of our arrays to be symmetrical, so maybe this doesn't come from above, it goes over first and then comes down from up here, and then our train station is going to end up being up here. Now what I'm also hoping is by laying out one, we can plan where the others go with the same layout. Um, speaking of which, if we're going to do this tiling thing, that's a gap of two, that's a gap of one. So immediately I don't like this. <laughs> Get rid of it! With a boss entity says press plus on the mouse pad to increase the uh, stone placement size. I was aware of that, I was aware of that, but uh, I kind of like it like this. So uh, we're going to go with that. Okay, so that's the corner of this area. This is going to be our uh, throughput that goes all the way to iron, eventually. Although, now I've just realised something. No, this is why... this is why they they do it the way they do it because you want to walk over that this is this is telling you where to walk so if we put that there and there it's unnecessary but we get to walk in front of it okay I really like that so the next thing for us to do is to establish where we're gonna put our electric poles and our inserters now I think what I might just go for is having these things spaced further apart and having a uh, neater layout for our Electricity right there. Um, we also might be able to take advantage of the robo port early on here. So iron ore goes in. And it puts them out on the other side. Just like that. Okay, so I think we might kind of be ready for a blueprint here. Let's go into blueprints. Bonuses? What's that? What's a bonus? <laughs> I don't know what a bonus is. Do I pick one? Like, research speed? I think I'd like more logistic slots or mining product. Do I get to pick these? I, I did not notice that before. Peeps, tell me what the bonuses are. Um, okay, press escape. Blueprint library. We've got a noise in the ear. It's Rachel. I'm going to say master, even though it's MSTR. Muster. Rachel Muster has subscribed with Amazon Prime. Thank you ever so much for your Prime subscription. I appreciate it. And I hope you enjoy what we're doing. When he says you can put concrete under the belt without disturbing the belt. Yes, yes. Uh, when doing all of that, I was I was aware of that. I just was thinking a little bit about well, how does this look? What are we going to do kind of thing? Um, right. So let's make a blueprint. And this still feels like a weird way to do it. But we're going to... Do we click? Yeah, we click and drag. And we're going to take that as a blueprint. Then here we'll get rid of that. Can I, can I just get rid of it? Yep. And we'll call this Smelt. Smelt! Excellent. Right, now we've created that blueprint and I can put it down over and over again. So we'll, we'll put it here and then we'll... 
Oh, whoa, I thought they wouldn't do that from my personal thing. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, we just hit the next level of this game. Can we get some hype in chat? That is amazing. I don't have to do anything anymore. I'm going to make the robots play the game for me. That's what I'm going to do. I should also count while I do this. One, two, three, four, five, six. Wow. Seven, eight, nine, and ten. Let's not get too ahead of ourselves here. Let's make sure I can actually see the region. So if I stand here, up here in the top left, um, there's one that needs to be reached. Look at all that hype in chat. <laughs> Mine foxes. Whoa. Cat says, what just happened? The hype just happened. Asuma can finally be lazy, says Dretz. Yeah, exactly. I can be lazy now. <gasps> oh, we got a we got a thing. I like I like that. That's good. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yes. Uh, I think what I'm gonna do is just breeze along here and oh, can I hold down click? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh my goodness me, that is incredible. Right, now we are probably going to run out of the things that we need to build this very quickly. So let's see what they're capable of uh, building. Probably all of those furnaces are going to go down, I'm guessing. But not so much the uh, the belts and the inserters we've probably run out of. So we're going to need a lot more of these materials in our inventory, basically. We can, we can do that now. And I'm actually going to have to go drop some of this other stuff off somewhere, aren't I? Now, how do I tell my construction robots to stop? Also, let's check out... Mm, excuse me. That's still got energy, and we're slowly draining some battery, but we do have solar panels, and it is day. Interesting. I also um, just remembered something. We should be able to make the next type of armor, right? We can, but it requires processing units, which I'm not sure... Oh, yeah, it required another bit of research, yes. So we tried to do that last time, right. Well, this is good. I think we need more construction robots. I have 36. Wasn't there a limit? Robot limit 10, so it's probably using 10 at a time. Now, if I put down a robo port and put down those robots in it, this would get done even faster. So, that was an unexpected surprise. But I think we'll go work on the robo port next. Right, how do I see the range again? I think it was because I was holding the blueprint. So if I go stand over here, they might just finish off the job for that area. Which is just a couple of pieces of belt, and then they'll probably get... Yeah, they're back in the inventory now. We're out of belt. Alright, sweet. Well, that was really interesting. <laughs> and unexpected. Randy Nicole, 2002, has gifted a sub to 2K19 of Doom. I thought it was 2K18 of Doom. <laughs> Thank you ever so much to your support to the both of you. Thank you for that. I appreciate it. 2K19 of Doom says 5 seconds of latency. I wouldn't worry about it. I wouldn't worry about it. It's fine. Thank you ever so much for the support. Appreciate it, guys. How's everyone doing today, says MG Martian. I'm doing great. This is going extremely well. And our potions are starting to back up, which means resources get to move around to other places. So, aha, look, look, they're coming out. They know what I want. They know what I want. I am going to need probably about 400 of those. About a hundred of these. Definitely, yeah, maybe not so many more of those, but we are going to build multiple of these things. Probably going to need... Actually, no, I don't need those right now. Okay, that's all good then. So I stand here and let them do the business. Uh, that is definitely going to have to change for the future. This is amazing. How lazy am I? Look at me. I'm not doing anything. You should place the oars in your trash slots, says X Ruby. Um, I'd like to find a way for them to be delivered back to where they're useful, um, but we would need bigger logistics network for that. Um, you're right, though. They are they are just sort of taking up the odd slot, but it's those stone bricks that I want to shift, and then we'll be able to hold more stuff. So I feel like it's just pinching one every time it makes it now. Um, so we'll skedaddle out of here. I don't know if the robot's going to follow me very far, but it'll probably turn around when I leave. Badger says slurp. Yeah, I'm drinking some tea, okay? You're getting slurp noises all up in your eardrums. Hope you don't mind it. X should play some Nordica, says uh, Sealy TV. I, you know, I've seen that game. I've never really been tempted to play it. 
I mean, it looks interesting, but I'm not so sure. Right, let's come over here and look at something in particular. It is this right here. So these should be full up. No, you're not. So in you go. However, oh, that one is full. Well, that'll do then. And I can probably just put the rest of it straight into there. So what are you missing? Iron ore? Why did that thing stop putting it in here? Is it because it's full? I don't know what's going on there. Probably because it's full. In fact, I think we're going to use this a lot, so I'm going to just do that for now. So we don't have to run into this problem again. This also might be part of the blueprint stuff, but... Uh... Oh, here they go again. I forgot about that. Yeah, of course you will. Of course you will. Making stuff. Making my life easy. That's what they're doing. Right, now let's go grab our RoboPort that we made. RoboPort, where art thou? Hiding in thy inventory, are we? There you are. Um, whoa, that has a crazy big... Okay, I'm going to go... Oh, we got this right in the middle of where we're building. Hmm, I'm going to go put it just over here for now. And then I've got to put construction robots inside of it, I believe. And where do they get their where do they get their materials from? I think they have to get them from a chest actually, which makes doing this a little bit slower perhaps. I think I used up. Oh no, I didn't. Well, that's a logistics chest thing. I think we need a storage chest, and then I need to put the things we're building with in there. So that should be part of that network, and then I can put things in there and they'll build. So let's double check. Uh, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Wow, we actually did that proper. Okay, well, while they place things, I'm going to grab this and bring it all the way across here. Okay, and then that's literally like the end of the whole thing. And we've got a two block gap, so the next bit goes up like that. And that's the end of the line for now. Right, I'm going to drink some more tea and watch them do their job, you know. <laughs> this is amazing. Suma, make robo ports in a square grid, says 2K198 of Doom. That would be a very good idea, wouldn't it, to put them in a grid? Spangle Boo says, hey you peeps, welcome Spangle to the stream. You have missed the most amazing start ever. Oh, including including a derp. Uh, the derp, how can, I, how can I show you the derp? Let's, oh no, that's the wrong button. We had, oh, that's a different network. Well, we had a derp, trust me, it was derpy. There it is, look. Plummet. <laughs> Everything turned off. But now, we're, I'm not even building things. Hamstap says you only have six robots active. Oh, it's probably because I put the rest inside the robo port. Right, that makes sense, doesn't it? Cool, that's good though. That's really, really good. Now we get to do the same thing again directly above us for copper, but you can see the problem is copper is already there. So we might want to try and get copper online. Ugh! Stupid pelts. Definitely not my own fault. So it would go there to there. That's nice, I think. Sort of... No, no, we were going to do this totally different. Yeah, yeah, that doesn't look right, and there's a reason why it don't look right. It's because we would actually come in... Like that. I think, yeah, I think that's right. So then we're going to have like a little area here for belts, and I don't know how big that's going to be or what's going to be on there, but that's that area, I guess. Couplex says, Factorio hype! Indeed. Spangleboo says, a derp is the last thing I would have had expected. Yeah, sure. I, I detect a teeny, teeny, just a tiny, teeny little bit of sarcasm going on there, you know? Just a little bit, not too much. Okay, let's go grab... Well, actually, no, for the next bit I want to try and do this without... The ones following me around. So we only had six. Five of them are there. Maybe it was five. Um, now we grab our blueprint. So we want to do the same thing again, right? Uh, we're going to go in line with that. One, two. So that's 
like a massive problem. If only it were just in line, it would be perfect. I think we don't really have a choice at this point in time. We're just going to have to uh, belt this around a little bit different. It's also kind of ironic that it's at the other end and I've arranged it to go the other way. But that's just how it will be. In fact, I'm going to I'm going to disassemble these as well for now. So they they're just going to sit there doing nothing. They're no longer a part of the network. You're fired. Oh look, you can see how much copper it's sucking in. That's interesting. What game is this, says Yellow Brian? This is Factorio. This game is incredible. Uh, 2K Teen of Doom says, Also, X, make the logistic chests which offer their inventory to robots for even more laziness. Make... Hang on, I didn't quite understand that. The logistics chests... Oh yeah, we've made logistics chests. i got a storage chest here though, because I believe I need to put the parts of what we're about to build in there. Let's go ahead and lay down our um, blueprints. I'm going to do some counting peeps. Bear with me. So we go to here, we go one, two. That's one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Hmm. I was just thinking, I don't actually need to count because this one's right below. But I did count and we ended up with nine. So three, six, nine, ten, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, it was just a little bit fast for me. So that is for copper. Now, what happens when we put the materials required in here? Oh, look at them go! Who's the laziest Factorio planet? Factorio player on the planet? That's right, it's me. I'm the laziest. Don't listen to what anyone else says. I'm definitely the laziest. Okay, let's go chuck some more things in it. Wow. If we hook this one up with the other one then, would they come all the way across and bring stuff from where it's being produced? I don't know. I've got so many questions. But this is fantastic. We can just drop this stuff off. So I need to go make more steel furnaces is the next dealio. And that requires stone brick, which I discarded. I threw it all away, peeps. By the way, we got more noises in the ear. Math Mick or Math Mike is here subscribing. Thank you ever so much for subscribing. I appreciate it. I hope you're enjoying the stream today, having a good time hanging out with us as we uh, as we get really lazy, basically. That's what we're doing. We're getting very lazy. Thank you ever so much for your support. Also, Johnny Fight subscribed with Amazon Prime. Appreciate it, Johnny. Thank you ever so much for subscribing. Hope you're enjoying what we're up to today. Uh, Peanut Butter says, X, wow, this base has gotten a lot more advanced since I last watched the stream. And it will continue to get more and more advanced. That's what we do here. We advance. We advance forward into the future. Creating amazingness. Now, where's my RoboPort at? That's right, RoboPort. Fill me up. I need stuffs. We should probably get a few more of those down here to make this faster. But then again, that's going to back up our resources, which we're trying to be a little bit careful with at the moment. That is so very, very cool, isn't it? I wonder what happens when they go over there. Do they drain power? Can I click on an individual little one? I can. Get get rid of that. Get rid of that. Okay, clicking on it. Oh, it shows it on the right. So it does have energy. So when they all go back, it's probably then going to suck up a bunch of power, maybe? Yeah, there you go. Is that the RoboPort sucking a bunch of power away? Where's my RoboPort at? There it is. Yeah, yeah. Reds. Look at those spikes. Okay, so that's an interesting thing to think about, isn't it? Right, okay. We're all stocked up on things we need again. Let's head back over to where we're constructing. Johnny Fight says, if you put everything on being produced in the passive provider chests, then link the robo ports. The robots will bring stuff over there where it was produced to build. Okay, that's good to know. I don't think I'm quite ready for that just yet because we need to make a bunch more robo ports which hmm I don't know the idea of them flying all the way across it might be a little bit slow just feels like one step at a time perhaps okay so they actually finished placing those right so now I get to do this um, and then give them other things that they want as well like those oh do we give them the right amount of inserters here yeah, I have another 50 
So they're now constructing as far as that thing reaches, actually. So we'll let them finish that job and then we'll uh, we'll pinch the robo things again. All right. One, two. Peanut butter hot chocolate, says I Live Cats. I've had some of that before. It was unbelievably uh, rich and sugary, which I wasn't so keen on, actually, even though I love peanut butter and chocolate. Winnie T. Ford says, but if you grab them out of the air, you can recharge them from your power source. Oh, okay. From my personal one. Right, so now I'm going to take them and then they'll run off the personal one to help build the rest of this. And there they go. <laughs> and like that they're working. So we've got copper, we got uh, iron sorted out. We will need to do steel in here which will be a slightly different setup. So I would say that is a success right there for our first bit of furnace array action, you know? Now what we've got to do is hook it up. And we're going to hook it up with trains as well. Cool, this is crazy. I should probably help them a little bit, you know. Can't get too lazy. I can get involved here. Oops, ran into something. Ah, no! One too many. All right, just a few things left to place then. I'll let them do it. How do you get the X face, says Gamer Dud. Oh, if you're subscribed, you get the X face next to your name. There are different colored ones as well, depending on how long you've been derping with me for. Uh, Doom Boss says trains is the best bit for this game by far. You know, it's the bit that I like the least. Um, I found it really difficult first time around, but this time around it's clearly been improved. Um, so I'm kind of looking forward to doing this next bit. However, I'm probably going to start off by doing something inefficient, you know? That's just how it's gonna go, probably. Alright, so what we need to do... Whoa! We've got a noise in the ear! We need to pick up all this steel. Oh yes, we do. That is correct. And make another nine of those, and maybe a little... a little bit more. What are we short of now? Those. Um, I'm not sure if nine was enough or... or not. Uh, Hookies is here! Subscribe with Amazon Prime! Hookies, thank you ever so much for your Prime subscription. I appreciate your support and hope you're enjoying today's live stream. Thank you for subscribing. And now we're going to see these ones step out and finish all of that off. Is this slave labor, says Cuplex? I don't know. They're robots, right? Are they sentient? We don't know. MG Martian says, Asuma, I appreciate you uploading the streams on the second channel. I use them almost every day as a type of podcast thing. That's awesome, man. Good to know. Are we really one short? We just needed one more than that. That is just unbelievable, isn't it? Raw material, I need some plastic, or I go get an advanced circuit thing. Um, okay, let's focus on advancing what we're doing here. So that robo port is going to be in the way, that's fine. Stand right in the middle. Same layout as down below. That being said... Oh, there's a gap there, right. <laughs> I thought it was all off by one block. Alright, so these things need to come from above, basically. I think what we will do is put our steel below and there will even be room for something else below it as well. There's room to the right for expansion when we upgrade to blue belts. So this is a really big setup we've got going on here. I'm happy with it so far. We just need to think about what we're doing next. So these things are going to come from uh, up above, basically. I think I need to put the underground belts first. Like that. So wherever these trains go, they need to deliver copper to there. Let's leave a space of two. And do this. 
Now the roboport is in the way. I'm going to take these things back for now. Get all of that stuff out of my way. What is that as well? Alerts. Hmm, okay. Not sure what to do about that. Oh, and now we're out of night vision-y stuff. Okay, so these need to just basically come down. However, oh, is that the wrong way? That is the wrong way. The arrows on the ramp actually show you what's going on there. Have you ever got any mod installed, says Babanta for Life? No, no mods. No mods. Okay, if we have uranium or something, we can always change this later and expand it. But I think I, I like this and I want to leave it like so. So that's actually where we're going to close off this area. Uh, all of this can actually go now. We're done with it. And I'm going to end up with stupid amounts of stuff in my inventory. Like ore, actually. Maybe I should have thought about that before I started chucking all this stuff away. If I put... Well, not you. If I put that in there, this can keep going. For the meantime. So the copper can flow for a little bit longer. Okay, and then let's go grab our material for building and finish this off. Right, so I want these belts to go through like that, as you can see. Although, wouldn't it make... Uh, do you know what? No, don't worry. Don't listen to me. Okay, then that one's going to go down to here. Very nice. Tree says, is X playing peaceful? Ah, yeah, I am. I am. I, I just knew. I, I'm very glad I did as well. I know the aliens add a really fun challenge to the game, and I actually really think it's a cool thing to have. But for streaming, I just knew I'd end up getting distracted and pulled about all over the place by it. It's by not having it, I've really been able to focus on like what project we're actually working on and not getting distracted all the time. It's actually been really good playing on peaceful. Right, if you've done your job, we'll get you out of here. Um, and then these things are basically now going to find their way down into the belts that we got going on over here when they're ready to. 2K19 of Doom says, X, use the deconstruction blueprint to get robots to do the work again so you can use trash cans in thou inventory to clear the inventory. Oh yeah, 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 we can have them dismantle stuff. That's a that's a very good point, need to remember that. Anyway, this thing is like ready to go. Now we need to do trains up here. This is where I'm really stepping into uncomfortable territory because I do not know uh, how big this thing needs to be. It's gonna have this big space up here. We should probably add a little bit of buffer just by doing that, just having these belts, you know, go somewhere. Maybe they should actually be further apart from one another. And maybe we should consider how big a cargo train is, because um, there is a certain amount of repeaters that we're going to need. We're going to need stack repeaters as well, I believe. Do I even have any of those in my inventory? Um, all right, let's start making some of this stuff then. So we need to find our rails. We have not a lot of rails, basically. Um, hmm. Trains should be down here somewhere. So we want a cargo wagon. I think I've already got one, you know. There it is, cargo wagon. We'll probably want several cargo wagons. Kilgore says hello, X and chat. Welcome, Kilgore. Repeaters equals inserters, says Demon2. Was I saying repeaters again? I didn't even catch myself saying it that time. Goodness me. Goodness me. Uh, we've got a noise in the ear from Spabby. Spabby, thank you ever so much for your subscription. I appreciate it. Hope you're enjoying today's live stream as we uh, do things... Here in the Factorio world, including derping. There's been some derping today, there's no doubt about it. I cannot hide it. Let's go have a look. Is this a regular chest? This is a... Uh, stack insert. So I should have a stack or something of those. I don't, because we probably haven't configured it. So I'm going to take that stack insert. 
I think we're going to make use of those. Can you play this on multiplayer, says uh, Chrysoud. I believe you can. I mean, I say I believe, I know, because I've been playing multiplayer. So, uh, yes, would be a better answer, wouldn't it? Why did we not get... Oh my goodness me, this whole time. That's a long derp. Oh, that's a ridiculously long ago derp. That's an ancient derp right there. Jeez. How many times do I have to press the button for that one? I'll, I'll give myself one. Okay, that was from a different stream though, peeps. Goodness me. This stream's been great so far. Right, well those things will be producing. Thanks. Keep giving me the stuff. I appreciate... Oh, why are they all immediately going over there even though they're holding stuff? What are they doing? Are they running out of power? Are they charging up together? Interesting. Interesting behaviour we're seeing here. Anyway, uh, I think we've done all we needed to do there for now. Go on then, give me the stuff. Jeez, I'll never be able to leave. They're all trying to give me things. If I just stand there, that's probably the quickest way to take care of that. That'll do. Let's get over here. Uh, also... Need to find those rails. Where Were we producing rails over here yet? I don't think we were. Uh, we got a noise in the air. Cheers and bits from Kilgore1311 who says, Cheer, 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 cheer. Can't stay off work. Uh, can't stay off to work next time you play, you stream a new game. Add a disclaimer that you'll buy this game. Um, what do you mean? Uh, if I'm playing a game, I either brought it or... Uh, I get given a lot of games over Steam. Why... Why does that one... Not take the steel rods? Oh, every now and then you might find one of these... Whoa, that's not what I want to do. You might find one of these things just not working. Yeah, like that. Okay, uh, cool. Kilgore, thank you so much for the cheers and the bits. Uh, I brought... No, did I buy this game? I think I brought this game. I don't know, it was way back when Kickstarter. I might have messaged the devs and asked for a key, I don't know. I think back then I probably wouldn't have thought of doing that, so... Yeah, I think I bought this game. I think he means add a disclaimer that the viewer want to buy the game, says Spababy. Well, that might be true for some viewers, not everyone, but yeah, I know what you mean. Like, Well, here's the thing, it's a good game. <laughs> if you find your way to it, you're probably going to consider it, that's for sure. Appreciate it, Kilgore. I think, I think you just try to make a funny and then I just derped all over it, like I usually do, you know. Derping all over the place, goodness me. We'll need some of this coal for our uh, train, by the way, so I've got to remember to do that. I've also got my steel furnace, but we'll leave it until we wander over there. Okay, so now what we've got to do is create like a, a train station. Here's the thing, here's the thing. How many train station stops do I... Oh no, we'll, what we'll do is we'll create... Let's go a little further up. We need to give ourselves wiggle room. We'll create a big line. We'll put a station thing at... Sorry, we'll make two of these, right? And one will be called iron and one will be called copper. I believe that might be the way to have them on the same line together. We're undoubtedly going to run into problems with these trains though. So uh, we'll be keeping our eye on them as we do this. So let's say each one that we make has two unloading stations. I don't know how much they're really going to need, but let's say we make it two. In fact, now I'm thinking about neatness. Of course I am. Of course I am. It's not important, but I'm thinking about it. Hi. Uh, no? Oh. <laughs> Hello? Yeah, do that. Then I'm going to remove that. We're going to take both of them, and we'll line it up so we have, we're going to put two trucks on each one. One will go there, and then I guess, how do I make this neat? Maybe we can't make it perfectly neat. I think I need a little bit more rail. And then hopefully what I have in my head makes sense and works. Okay, so... Kind of looks like it can't be perfectly aligned with what we got down below, so... We're going to put one there, that's for a train with two stations, sorry, two cargo things. 
Right, and then our next one goes here. Oh, goodness me, it's sort of overlapping a little bit. Okay, that's really weird. I think we have to make sure our train is just two. So we have a locomotive. I should have picked up some engines. And then we have some cargo wagons behind it. I, I'm going to have to go pick them up to visualize this. Don't forget your signals, says Yo Mama. I don't even know how to do signals. <laughs> Use four wagons from the beginning. They are hard to upgrade, says Gretz. Okay, is it, does that sound fair to most people? Use four to begin with? If I use four, should I have a dedicated station? Oh, I guess I'm going to have to. What I'm thinking, I guess, is do I want multiple trains or one train that visits multiple places, right? Then we could have four cargo wagons and we could have two for iron and two for copper. That's sort of where my thoughts are at right now. And they're bringing me stuff. They're bringing me all the stuff. I'll stand next to where it is. I'll make their lives easy, peeps. Don't worry about it. I'm a good... Uh... <laughs> I'm a good robot owner. I don't know what, what a robot thing is. Jeez. Okay, let's stand over here. And grab all of those. Still not enough. I also probably need some of the uh, green circuits as well. Now we just need the steel. And the steel's all the way down here. Oh, look at that. Our cogs are backed up a fair bit. That's good. Okay, so two locomotives. Now we need steel again. Two cargo wagons. We already got one. Okay, so that gives us four. Um, we've got more noises in the air. Puffy Charmeleon is here doing cheers and throwing bits. Don't mix the trains. Multiple trains is easier manager. Just trying to catch these messages before they go off. You will regret it later. Yes, you need four wagons and multiple trains. I usually go for one train that goes in a loop to all necessary places. One, one for each, basically, is what people are saying. In Two stations in parallel, not in a straight line. Okay. Okay, that's interesting. One train can block each other. Alright, okay. Um, so Puppy Charmeleon says, Pogchamp. You've inspired me to buy this game. I can't wait to dirt my afternoon away. Awesome, buddy. I hope you enjoy it. Thank you for the uh, cheers and the bits. My tip would be to uh, watch some tutorials while you play as well. Like, if you want to do this thing completely blind, that's an experience. But this is the kind of game where you'll probably play it over and over again and learn each time. Right, so we need to make um, eight of those cargo wagons, I think. So we've got, we need another three. Now we just need iron by the looks of it. Cool. And then I don't think we're going to need... Eh, we might need some of these things. Rail signals. Let's make sure we've got a stockpile of stuff. Right? So if it wants anything, I'm like, I've already got it. I can craft it now. Right, and that should... That looks like a plentiful amount of stuff going on. Okay, so I think I know what we're going to do. I've seen, you know, designs and whatnot before. Um, and y'all can stop me if I'm doing it and doing it wrong. But I'm pretty sure I know what to do next. We also got to be very considerate that we have no copper in our system at the moment. So we need to get this up and running for copper pretty quickly. Which is kind of ironic because that's the one thing we could do if we just put in a lazy belt. So um, let's go. Okay, this is temporary this. Okay, don't, don't freak out too much. Not a bad idea, really. Just keep it going. There it goes, that one. Doing its one little job. Okay, then when it comes to power, we want a connection. Good, we got it. Get back in my inventory, buddy. And let's use the belt. Then we're going to want something temporary around this space. Um... Maybe it can go just over here. Right, all of that is online and stuff is coming for it to smelt soon. I guess that means I should probably hook up the output as well, which for now 
is this is kind of temporary, right? Uh, is that the belt? That's the belt. Well, that's convenient. It can go right there. Oops. Also, let's use that destruction blueprint for a second here. Um, if I go to my blueprints book and grab that, and then what do I do? Left click and get rid of all of those things. Wow, nice. That's super cool. Um, Sarsaur is also here resubscribing for 34 months in a row. Thank you ever so much, my friend. I appreciate your continued support. Approaching three years. That's incredible. Randy says, "Blimey, Charlie, that is Charlie. That is incredible. What? What's in? What did Charlie say? I need to know about this incredibleness." Okay, what are they doing? Are they taking stuff out of there? They're taking the coal one at a time, I think. And now they're all trying to get back in one at a time. And now the copper is back in the system. That was a good idea. That was that was kind of necessary, you know. It looks like only the first four are taking care of it. I wonder if putting all of those online created a spike. Yeah, look, massive spike. And it was actually from those, I guess, when they kicked back in. Interesting. Right, that's doing its thing. Now onto these trains. So we've established this is probably not the way to go. Um, therefore, I think I know what we need to do. We need our, we need our rail. Going to bring it all back a little bit. Randy Nicole says, "Building, you're building up your base, X. I am, yes. What did Charlie say, though? <laughs> oh, is that what Charlie... Wait, what? <laughs> I'm confused. Poor old X, he's confused. Who would be surprised by such a thing? Okay. Um, so we've got our four little unloading stations. This, this would actually probably work better if I moved it more this way for now. Okay, so gonna put our train here that's that's our four little one loading stations we're actually gonna go and put yeah let's get some of these things out of here right locomotives cargo wagons they only go in groups of five interesting uh, rotate was it alpha rotate so we got that there one two three four wonderful now what we shall do is I think this and then a big old section of that. Okay, so then somewhere here I want to have enough space to, let's see, hmm, two, three, four, five, six. That That's probably enough space is what I'm hoping. So first of all do that. Second of all, go this way and connect. Right, now does that look does that look proper so far? Is this how the champions of Factorio do this stuff? So I'm gonna have another one there. We're gonna expand this. Which makes this over here kind of necessary. Is there a blueprint hotkey? There is. Uh, wait, no, Q, B, click that, escape to go back. Just if they could grab those. What about the trees? Ooh, ooh, oh, oh, they're doing things for me. Wonderful, wonderful. Do my bidding. Okay, press Q. That being there is actually probably a good thing, so I can grab it quickly. All right. So then I'm asking chat things as well, and then I'm not. I would design a play track. Have a straight, a straight with a station at each end. Uh, what you just said. I don't know what that is. But I appreciate you trying to help. <laughs> Block Flight says I'm worried about your signalling. Make a double-headed train so you can go both sides. I I don't even know. I think what you're saying though means I need to leave a bit of space. Let's leave a bit of space in case we need it. Okay, uh, so then we'll do that. So where was that to? About here. Then we'll do that. Cool. <laughs> right, okay, so second train. There's a blinking light over here. On the rails. Cargo trains behind it. 
Now what we need to do next, we'll probably end up using a blueprint for. So I think what we want to do is unload these things rather fast, which means we need stack inserters, I think, to take things out. Like that. Six of them, is that? That seems crazy. Okay, then we need to power them all. Then I think you need lots of steel chests. For which I don't actually have enough steel, believe it or not. Let me know if at any point this don't look right, peeps. Because I don't know really what I'm doing. I'm just copying the stuff I've seen other people do. Need fuel, says Badger. Yes, we'll get to fuel at some point. And one hour mark. I break time, I believe, says uh, Nico Nico Neans. Jeez, I can't say your name, can I? Don't forget one insert of a fuel insertion. Yes. Uh, Witty I says personally, I use a double track and one way, one for each way with looping stations. But do whatever works for you. Love seeing new ways. Well, I don't know what I'm doing, so this is just me trying to make something happen, right? Looks good. It's quicker with stack inserters on both sides of the track. Oh, right. I'm going to put it on one side for now. And maybe later on we can rebuild stuff. Once we've got it done one time, we can use our robots and blueprints and stuff. And it should make stuff super easy, I guess. Okay, now I can build a whole bunch. But I've still got a feeling I'm going to need more. So I'm going to yoink all of that. Crazy. Crazy. Now we can really make some. Okay, then heading up here, I want to take some more stuff. And they're going to give me things. Of course they're going to give me things. What did you think this was? Yes, those ones. Stack insert is going to take all of that. Then I'm going to stand next to this so they can do their thing. Sweet. Right, and uh, yeah, we need an eye break, peeps. Alright, it's time for an eye break. So, at this point during the stream, I encourage you... Not to watch. You can't believe it. The streamer is saying don't look. What I mean is don't look at those bright lights shining into your eyes. If you've got an iPad, the television, a monitor, always good to give yourself a break if you're staring at it for ages. You'll be blinking less when you're staring at your phone. Need to get some blinking in, so I'm taking a moment here to adjust my standing desk. That's the noise that you can hear in your ear. It rhymes. Am amazing. Yeah, I'm just taking a moment to uh, look away. Look away from the lights. And could this thing go faster, please? This is like a little bit of light exercise. <laughs> oh, goodness me. I should have got the electric lazy one. Then we wouldn't have this problem. Alright, it's almost there. I can feel it. I can feel it, peeps. Miss Spidey senses tingling. Right, that's good. I can sit down now. And we can resume. Yeah, the eye break is over. Stop giving your eyes a rest. It's time to damage them again, peeps. Luke says, how do I get rid of the 29 followers today overlay? Um, I believe it's optional. I believe it's optional to put it on the screen. If you click somewhere in the middle at the bottom, like where the menu is, where my cursor is, somewhere down here, I believe there's a little menu for you to uh, turn that off. Okay, so that is one thing. Then we need the same thing on the opposite side again. And then we have belts. And I believe these belts may need to go through to splitters. Now here's the weird thing, like, is this bit here necessary? Probably is. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing now. <laughs> Do I use splitters here and split them all into one belt? I mean, I basically got to convert that into a single belt. Actually, it's two belts. So... Oh goodness me. Now now I now I actually look at this and I'm like, what do I do? What do I do? Uh Roos says over the time you can start research higher robot speed, which is when the fun starts. Yes, yes. Well, hopefully establishing like lots of resources coming in will allow us to research fast again. Johnny Fight says use fast inserters to remove chests. Okay, thanks. We'll do that, actually. It sounds 
considering how much these uh, belts have got to condense down, that sounds like the smarter thing to do. Do that. Six for each. Have three on each side meet the middle. Okay, yeah, yeah. I think I know what you mean. It's just how... Now it's like layout. How do we do that? Okay, so I want... This is, this is, wait, can't I use splitters here? Something like that? Doesn't that just simply put it all down to two lines? I think it does, and then... So this first one is going to be for iron. This is our iron train, which we want to get up and running soon. So we've got two belts here. The other one is for copper. Um, I guess... There's that night vision. Let's see what people are saying. It will only load one side of the belt though, says Gizmaster. Just pull one line from each group of six, says Demon 2. You need to use both sides of the belt. Hmm. Well, wait a minute. They both go onto that, so it doesn't matter. Because they both go onto one side of either belt. So if they put it all on one side, so be it. That's fine by me. That logic checks out in my brain. If I'm wrong later, later on, I'll be laughing. Okay, so then over here. We're looking for something like that. That looks good, I think. Your layout looks good, says Winnie. Thank you, Winnie. The Winnie seal of approval. Right, now let's go and do that again. Hopefully we've got enough space up there. Didn't know it was going to be so big. Okay, what we need to do, right, peeps, is find out where the blueprint... There the blueprints are. Okay, uh, also, if I press escape, that will go away. Um, I want to blueprint from there. Did it... I don't think it selected the very first one. It didn't. From here, it didn't again. Hang on. Why is it not doing it again? There we go. Okay, now I'm going to put a train cargo and an inserter on there. So that's how I remember. Unload! Unload the resources! Woo! Goodness me, robots, you're going to have a field day today. Oh, it doesn't leave us with enough space though, does it? Oh, I guess... I guess I've got to... Hang on, well, there we go. I guess I've got to go back a little bit and do all of that again. I'm back from my eye eyebrow, says totally not a facist. Why would you be a facist? No one likes facists. Um, <laughs> the eye break ended ages ago. Oh, I'm messing with you. Right, uh, <clears throat> let's do this. All the way over here. Is it to about there? It looks like it's about there. There it is. Okay, that last one, though, needs that. Going for it. Wait a minute. There's an easier way to do this. No, not like that. It won't take any of these ones off. Well, I'll do those myself, then. You know. Cool. Make me do work, will ya? Sweet, I don't have to do anything. Just let them do all of it. Ah, do you need one more? Okay, so that wasn't too hard to move it, was it? And I need that, I need that station. Uh, by the way, Neon TNT 54 has subscribed. Neon TNT, thank you ever so much for your subscription. 
I appreciate that. Hope you uh, enjoy the stream. Wait, wait, wait. Why are people saying derp? Why are people saying derp? What? Why is everyone X? Look at chat. Look at chat is not a derp. <laughs> What? Sorry. Why did I not have to move it? I had no space. They ended like right in front of this thing. Oh, was there actually room for belts just here? Ah, whatever. I don't mind moving it up. It's fine. It's fine, peeps. Calm down. Jeez, it's like you like derps or something, you know? It's like you actually enjoy them sometimes, I think. It's like you're looking for them. Okay, there we go. No? There we go. Let's take this. Right, now there's loads of space to do all the stuff. And also the things. Cool, so while they're doing that, I can kind of focus on bringing these over to the end here. Hmm, that's kind of tricky. So I want to, well, I want to stand here so I'm in range. Okay, so we want them to go down like that. Yeah. Chat's still going a little bit crazy. What's going on? Demon 2 says X, you don't need to use all the splitters. Uh, which splitters wouldn't I need to use then? Oh, I guess the first two, maybe not. Yeah, we can we can reevaluate the idea a little bit, perhaps. But it's not a derp. Jeez, I'm just learning. Alright, keep going, you little robots. Cool, they're having a good time, aren't they? Also, let's go bring in coal. Um, why, why would I use that? I don't need to use that. So I think we'll put coal right on the end here. And, do you know what, we don't even need an underground belt there. Uh, stack inserter makes no sense there, does it? Oh, do you know what? We might want to do that. And have it go alongside. Right, so if we did, this would probably want to come from somewhere else. So that we could have a splitter. Oh, this stuff takes a while to set up, doesn't it? Hopefully, we can use blueprints in the future to make this super easy. So we'd have a splitter there. That would go all the way across. Let's put in a row of these. So that should really be part of the blueprint as well for the future. And we don't have any splitters, so for now it's just like this. Except it's the wrong way around. We love to watch streamers making mistakes, says Mark. <laughs> What's the mistake? Is it a mistake? Because it looks to me like this would actually do what it needs to do. Sounds like people are upset because I could use less splitters, which we probably can. But it gets the job done, right? Mindfox says, that's ridiculous. No need for that much inserters. Are you sure? Seems to always be the objective of this game to create crazy amounts of throughput. Okay, back over here we go. Do you know what might help these little robots if I just took some of those out for them? So, oh no, your job's done. Don't worry about it. Also, over here, I've got a whole bunch of those for you. Look, you still ain't used the last ones. Ain't even using the last lot I gave you. There we go. Okay, so do we have lots of those? I'm going to take them. And splitters. Oh, nothing over here. Just no iron cogs coming through seems to be the problem. I wonder if this means... See, the thing is, the iron cogs never had enough iron going to them, but it's weird because there's loads of iron sitting on the track over there. Kind of looks like there's loads of it. 
Well, until that point. It can definitely go faster, can't it? Right, did I walk back to get something and then forget why I walked back? Because <laughs> that's a common thing. X for locomotive, you only need one inserter, says Orangi. Trains can hold three stacks. Um, well, this will load it up quickly if it gets unloaded quickly, you know. Let's not worry about it too much. Also, we were going to go sort out coal. Jeez, let's, uh, let's throw in... I don't even have, like, a yellow splitter at the moment. I can make splitters. Right, so over here... Okay, I think I see what some of y'all are getting at. I could do... In fact, I could possibly do it straight away. That might interrupt the other one, so... In fact, that's a good point. We should probably check this out in action before we change it too much. Uh, so they're, they're completely unnecessary, right? And then... Eh, yeah. We'll, uh, we'll see this thing in action and figure it out then, I guess, is the way... Oh, now, now you're going to take him and put... No! We just changed our minds! I needed those splitters! I was going to do jobs with them! I can't believe it. I can't believe it. Oh wait, I did that a little bit different, didn't I? No. <laughs> right, they're not stealing them and taking them up top anymore. That's good. Okay, so over here we need a splitter. Sweet. Hey, look what's nearby. It's everyone's favourite coal. Uh, let's go add a splitter right there. Sweet, that's coming through. That's looking good. We could use a one of these. All of that's online. Wonderful. Put another one here. So a lot of things are online now. Wow. I need to finish hooking this up though, don't I? Okay, so officially, I would say we are ready for some serious smelt action thing, you know? Hopeless for life says, what has happened? What has happened since last stream? Um, lots, I guess. Also, be banter for life, subscribe with Amazon Prime. Be banter, thank you so much for your subscription. That was eight minutes ago. I'm such a derp, I'm not paying attention. We need to go find iron to mine. There happens to be some right nearby that we could... We could do a little test setup. The next one's there. I don't know if these aliens are going to mind us dropping into their area and taking all that iron ore. But it's a thing that we should try. Right, we need to give these things names, by the way. So, this is iron, that's copper. <laughs> Acmarine Snapjaw. Uh, how about iron drop off? Iron drop off over here. We're going to have copper drop off. Excellent. You didn't connect the copper, says Minefox. Oh, yeah. Missed a bit. Just make sure the trains don't run into aliens or they'll destroy them. Yeah, that could potentially be a problem, couldn't it? <laughs> Right, now can I ride a train while I create the track? That, that would be pretty impressive. Um, this thing's got, you know... Uh, we're going to iron, actually, so we should probably take the iron train. Oh, I can control it! Oh, goodness me. What if it goes off the tracks, though? That might be a very bad decision thing. Okay, we're going to stop there. Sort of. So can I... That's weird. 
Okay, that is a very interesting concept. Oh, good God. <laughs> that, now, what if I hold click? Now, I've got to periodically click. What if a tree gets in the way? Oh, my goodness me. <laughs> Feels like we might die at any minute, peeps. Oh, there's a tree! Quick! Get the robots on it. Can the robots get it from in here? Are these robots amazing? <gasps> They're amazing robots! Look at that. Get out of my way, tree. How dare you, Mother Nature. Oh, jeez, I almost went off the track. Okay, I didn't know this could be so exciting. <laughs> I think we need to go upwards now. Ugh, just about placed it. Probably a good idea to zoom out a little bit when doing this, so I can place a little further ahead. It lets me place really far ahead of me. Look, look how far I'm zoomed out. That's ridiculously overpowered. Well then, we can go a little bit faster, I think. This is an interesting way to explore, isn't it? Stop the train. So, I reckon what we should have done is gone closer to that, but it only takes a few belts to move things over. So, maybe we'll make the station here. Although, then it'll be sideways. Hmm. When should we tell him he can't fall off the tracks is one, one free. Oh! Oh, I guess so. I assumed I would fall off the track. Fair enough. Fair enough. Right, I think I want to make this whole track like a giant loop. Let's actually test that theory quickly. Not too fast now. Right. I don't know if there's any damage for doing that. Okay, so if I go look at the map, there might be another copper deposit. I don't see a copper deposit. Well, we've got a massive one there. <laughs> 1.9 million. Okay. We're probably going to make this thing... I don't know how to do train tracks, right? So, what I won't do is make this... Hmm. We're literally going to have only one of these running for now. I, I'm, I'm going to just send it back like so. Let's, let's zoom out. Uh, let's stop. What if I zoomed out, like... If I were going straight and I made a selection like that, they could get rid of everything in front of me before and then take care of it as I get closer. Uh, wrong way. Oh, this is bonkers. This is bonkers. There we go. Okay, and it just stopped. It just, yep, you know, whatever. Okay, they're in the way, clearly. This is wonderful. <laughs> this is such an interesting way to play the game. Go for the uranium, says Demon 2. I would like to at some point. When we get to a uh, part of the game where it's like, eh, we've done a lot of stuff, what do we do next? Uranium will be one of those things, because uh, I really do want to experiment with that. Okay, back to the train track. And we're out. Now I've got to... Wait, I've, I think I've really overshot the entrance, but that's fine. I got too excited and carried away. Just send it back on the same rails, says Johnny Fight. Oh, it could go in reverse. I didn't think of that. I did not think of that. Hold down shift when you place it will auto cut the trees. That's genius. Man, there are so many things in this game that are just designed to be convenient for the player. It's so cool. It's so very cool. Right, we've still got quite a few steps to go. Why did I come back here? I need to get more rails, I believe. And uh, we should have stupid amounts of rails. That's good. We like stupid amounts of rails. We don't like sensible amounts. You could loop it at the ends, says CR Lang. Uh, I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna loop it the the two ends together. Yeah, that's pretty much what we're doing here. I just kind of overshot it and didn't realise. So while we're walking up here, let's grab that. And so if I hold down Shift, no, it didn't do it that time. Oh, I can do that though. Place it the classic way for now. Oh, hello. Oh, are you low on energy? <laughs> Where are you going? Do I do I want to grab that myself? Yeah, I'm going to grab it myself. Huh. They must have been flying from where the train was up top for quite some time. 
Oh, if I just do this, I could connect it when we get close. There we go. We barely overshot it that much. There we are. Excellent. So I could just reverse this. I'm going to even just leave the track here as well. Okay, so I can jump in, revert. Oh, that's so amazing. This is so amazing, this game. And I am going to disconnect the track, actually, just in case it causes a complication. Okay, I think I disconnected it at the wrong spot. Sort of. <laughs> I think I might might be a good idea to get out of the train. <laughs> Try to answer sensible amounts. There'll be no sensible amounts here. Oh, I think the problem is now the train's on the track that we're trying to edit and stuff. Okay, so go back to that bit. There we go, connected up. Amazing. Reverse. Right, we have got to build a, a loading thing now. So, Sla Slava says make separate lines for each train and loop them so you don't need to make a second rail. Uh, I, I don't know what I'm doing to begin with. To, for now, we're just getting started. This is a fun project adventure. We'll learn as we go. Um, you know, maybe I'll look up a video on how to do trains properly on Factorio at some point and learn from it. But for now, we're just going to uh, have fun getting one thing up and running. That's that's my goal for this episode. We've got to get one thing up and running. Okay, so now let's get the train. Can you stop there properly for me? Okay, I, th I felt like it just sort of docked. No, it probably didn't actually. Hmm. Hopefully, hopefully we can figure that one out. Okay, let's call this Mr. Beast. Let's call it Iron Loading One. Right, so that's our first iron loading. So we're going to take all of this iron over here and bring it over there. And uh, do you know, I don't know if the loading's going to have quite as fancy a system. But what we are going to have are the stack inserters. Feels like here it's definitely overkill. But we'll see what happens. Okay, and then we don't have a refueling thing. Uh, we're going to... Wait, we've got them here already. Grab these next. And eventually we'll make a blueprint for this as well. Oh, we do need one more. What do you know? One more. We also got to get power over here, don't we? Paint the train with purple, says uh, Slava. Uh, I'm not in the mood for messing around with the colours and stuff. I really want to be productive and get as much done here as I can. So, it seems to me like a good way to lay out our mining drills. Oh, also, let's grab this quickly and get rid of all these trees and stuff in the way. And over on this way. So, anything in the way gets to go. Then we'll create like a little layout with belts running through it. So, I'll start off by uh, actually just... Uh, I guess we need like I'm gonna make these uh, do this the efficient. Actually, no. I guess we do want to do it the powerhouse way or the efficient way, peeps. I don't know. I don't know what's the best way. I think I think we'll do it powerhouse that way and efficient this way. And that'll make that'll probably make what I just said will make more sense in a bit. And you're probably you're probably thinking X. There's not even iron there. It won't let me place it because there's not even iron there, which uh, stops me from making this bigger. Unless we go back this way, yeah. So let's run a belt from there to there. Okay. Uh, we need to power all of this. So here and here. And I guess we need to have the gap between part of the blue the layout of the blueprint. So that means we're going to have that there. And then I can make that a blueprint and repeat it. And I think that's all I need to do. I think that is literally it. Let's go grab our blueprint book. Select all of that. Yep, that I'm fine with that. Uh, let's call it mining. <laughs> I'm so creative with these names. Okay, and then I should be able to do this, right? 
Interesting. It doesn't cover it quite at the front. In fact, it kind of shows you where you can't really do stuff. That's right. Put one there. Huh. This is. If you're thinking X, this is just ridiculous amounts of overkill. Uh, yes. <laughs> Isn't that what this game is? Just constant overkill? Wow. This is such a crazy way to play. Oh, it don't let me do that because this is in the way, I think, is what it was saying. Wow. Uh, also, we can do this. You know, we don't actually need all of this here. Oh, there's a little biter nearby. Hi. Don't mind us causing a bit of pollution, are we? Nah, it's no problem. What are you on about? You can't breathe the air. Bunch of complainers. This is bonkers. It's building it all for us, peeps. It's getting built. I can help out as well. What would be smart is if I did this. Just ran through the middle. Helps get all of that in place. Um, and we don't need the power cables over here, as you can see. So yeah, that's part of like the repeating layout is that it doesn't put the minor drills where it can't mine. So we don't kind of waste anything on that front. Just going to go in and zap those bits out after. So now we've got three belts. And I think what we'll do is we'll probably just load them into three of these. One belt for each. Something like that. Does that... Or well, maybe we need to balance the belts. We can always, you know, start in one place, come back over here and figure out the rest later. So, um, put down a robot thing to help build, says Neon. we got no power over here yet. That would have been a very smart idea, though. Very smart indeed. I hope we've got all the things we need here for building this. If I take care of all the belts, because they're kind of quick for me to build, then... Everything should be a little quicker for these. Oh, are they running out of power? They just started to go a bit slow. They are running out of power, aren't they? Three to four balancer for ore, says Bruno. I have no idea what that is, but we'll figure it all out as we start to do stuff. I reckon. We'll figure it out. Do miners have a radius, or will there be some left? Uh, they have a they have like a radius. You can see the box when I hover over it. Wow, look at this. They're doing the job alright. I'm just okay, I think that area is done. So if I move if I move this way, yep, then they then they run out to do something. Right, and that means this area here is probably done now. Okay. We're definitely gonna need to improve our flow here. Like this is also, what is up with these cables? Like they got like a big crossover thing here, but not there. I placed it all the same distance. Yeah, we're going to have to work on this like workflow. This is fast, but it could probably be faster in the future. Maybe all it takes is just robots that can fly around quicker. Wow, look at them go. They're doing the work. They're doing the business. All right, and I think everything's been placed. So once we give this power, it is just going to do its thing. That's wonderful. Um, we've covered that in not quite the entire patch, but it was a good go. Good go at it. There is actually space for us to do a little bit of manual work here. So if I come here and if I put that there and that there, nope, we'll cover all of it. Where's, there we go. See, this is why I brought so many of these with us. In the future, we'll have it on logistics to always have loads in our inventory. All right, a little bit extra there. Make sure they get some power coverage. I think it was already covered, but whatever. Okay, um, so now I want to... I'm going to feed these in. Oh, you, some of you are going to go mad at me. I'm going to do it one way and we'll come back up here. And when we look at it working, we can then go, oh, that was stupid. Let's do it a better way. Right. And you can all have, you can all throw dirt faces in chat and call 
Assume we're an idiot who don't know how to play Factorio. You can do all of that. Because uh, I'm just figuring things out as we go along, peeps. Okay, there's one, then the last one. So when we bring this thing power, it's going to kick in and start to do its stuff. So we really need to set up our train now, uh, which I believe is pretty much ready to go. Um, we just got to put the things in it. So it's going to run on automatic. We need to tell it what it's doing. It's going to go to iron loading where it is now and it is going to wait until its inventory is full and then it is going to go to iron drop off and it's going to wait until its inventory is empty that is its job back and forth back and forth like that what a donkey says Jesp K don't call me a donkey I said you could call me a derp why would you call me a donkey Someone says, since you don't load the last wagon. Ah, oh, okay. So what would be a more optimal... How do I edit? Remove, add... Remove the condition. Hmm. Maybe it waits here for five minutes or something? Let's make it wait for a minute and then it goes. So that one gets trashed. We'll try that to begin with. And then we set it to automatic. So actually wait here for a minute and then go. So it's going to be... It's not going to wait until we're ready for it, which is kind of weird. Can we put you between... Oh no, you need a big one to connect to, don't you? Right, I think what we'll do is... Hold down click. And then one there. And then over here, I've got to go all the way down to my base. If I go directly downwards, we will eventually meet up with the base. So, hold down click is what they've been telling me. It's what they've been telling me, peeps. Use inactivity. Oh, that's a good idea. So, it'll go when nothing's happening, which is the same as it not having... Uh, it not being full, but nothing happening, yeah. So weird. Let's go hook it up. Bam! Right, so that's got power up there now, peeps. Have I got a car that I can use to get back up there? I think actually we might be smart to go over to the right next. Put radars down. Oh yes! Nikki, good idea. Oh, there's the train! Quick, we've got to go edit it! No! Train, we need to edit you! Oh, you. You devil. Right, this is actually already powered. So we could have hitched a ride. That would have been really nice if we managed to do that. Um, this is best I can zoom out. Where's that car? Where is that vehicle? There it is. Put it down on the ground, X. Come on, now. Uh, I don't know what that's doing. Is it giving it fuel? Did it just fuel it? I got fuel. Right. Ugh. Let's get on the tracks, because we know there's no trees on the... Well, I just went for a tree. I forgot about that. There's our power cable. Oh, it's doing the business! Oh! Look at that. That setup is amazing. Genius. Right. What was it I was going to do? I'm going to remove that. And we're going to remove that. And then... No, don't run away from me. Oh, it better let me edit. Okay, we're going to go iron loading. And we're going to put inactivity. Yep. Five seconds. Let's just up it to ten. Ten seconds of inactivity. And then it will head off. Wow. Okay, that's super cool. Right. So, this over here is doing its business. We are mining all of the ore. We're probably putting a huge strain. Yet we're putting a huge strain on the system. So this stuff might even be able to come over a little bit faster. Hey, robot, what are you doing? Were you repairing it? How kind of you. Right, now we got to... Oh, radar. Right, uh, let me place down the radar. Jeez, where is it? I've got to find that radar quickly before it leaves. Oh, actually, it will leave on inactivity, which is probably not for a while. Where's the radar at? Oh, my cursor is literally over it. What is wrong with me? Okay, I'm hitching a ride. Let's look in there. Wow. We might have to wait until that's full up, by the way. Oh, this is so cool. 
Oh, this is so cool. Happy hedonists are so beautiful. It's beautiful, isn't it? He uses inactivity, says just Relimon. Yeah, it might have been a bad idea because we want to leave in a little bit. I mean, we could wait here, I guess. But this is totally working. So we have to wait for this to fill up all the way. That's actually going to take a long time. Can I, can I like, give it a bit of a manual override? If I get in here, I guess I've probably got to click on it. Switch to manual. We're done. We're done. See you later. We're taking the cargo. Nice. <laughs> and then all of that stuff's just going to sit there and slowly fill up. That's amazing. That is amazing. Okay, so then we come down here. Slow down a little bit. Should go straight over. Yep. We've got no track switching stuff in place or anything like that. Um, and then... Oh, oh. Okay, that counts as being docked. Let's put it onto automatic. So it's going to... No! Ah, jeez. Okay, it didn't leave properly. Whoa! It filled up those belts very quickly. And because the third one isn't getting used, it doesn't make sense to have that there, does it? Um, that being said... It didn't get to pick up a lot, did it? Right, doesn't that mean all of this is ready to go online? How should I connect that? We put big one up in the corner last time. Oh, wrong button. Right, this, this iron is going to replace the old one. Oh, we could actually just leave the old one there for now. Okay, it's not quite as fast as I hoped it would have been. But, I mean, every single one of those is fired up. Wow! Oh, I know why it'll be slow. It's because of power. Look, power is terrible at the moment. We need to um, expand our power for sure. Set the train condition to iron ore equals 6,000, says Tridensi. That's a good idea. It's not there at the moment. It's probably going to be up the top for a long time. Yeah, it looks like we might have to do some more tweaking to that thing then. Alright, what I really want is uh, to use one of these splitters, I think. Um, but I could see this going horribly wrong. I basically need a red splitter. Just make one. There we go. That makes sense. Oh, it's going to take forever to make it as well. Okay, and there isn't too many great places. Over here is probably the best bet. So, from there to there. Oh, and we're out. I need to go get some more. ID, IB Def says X, you could feed the iron into another lane of your bus. Um, yes, I could feed it into an entirely different lane. That would be quite smart, wouldn't it? That would be... In fact, that's probably what we'll do. Come on, robots. Feed me. Feed me now. Oh, they're feeding me with all the things. Wonderful. Look at that. Beautiful. Still wants more belts. I've got all of them. <laughs> this is just brilliant. This is just genius. wonder whose idea it was when they were developing this. Be like, let's have flying robots give the players all the things they need. It's the next logical step. Oh, look, we've got loads of splitters now. Excellent. Sweet. Sweet business. Use solar plus accumulator field, says Just Realmion. Yep, that's something I'd like to get to. Um, I'm just not sure when. We'll probably just stick with our dirty steam engines for now. Um, but we will get to that soon. Okay, um, so we were down here. We've had the fantastic suggestion to just feed it in for a different belt. Let's go from there to there. And it's almost like all of this is already in place. So we'll leave that other iron in there for now. It can keep doing its thing. All right, and there is a massive throughput of iron coming in. Let's let's watch it do its thing. This is what we've been working for all stream long, my friends. We needed more iron. Here it comes, and it should kind of get shimmied out through a lot of the belts. It's def look at that. It's definitely made a difference. 
all of this totally needs upgrading, doesn't it, at this point? Uh, you can get upgraded, you can get upgraded. Here I am, running out of splitters, and now I'm just throwing them around willy-nilly. Typical X. Ah, I had a feeling I might do that. Okay, that is the one that I really want to get them to on a fast belt. Not that I think upgrading it here makes much difference. Oh, it's actually not. It's Iron Cogs over here. And look at how much he's coming through on Iron Cogs. Almost back to the top again. So still not enough to make Iron Cogs do all the work. Unless some stuff is going to start backing up and then more throughput ends up over here. It looks like that might be about to happen. Oh, everything's on one side over here. I'm going to guess, yeah, we've sucked up all the iron. We've probably got train problems now. So we need to go fix the train. And uh, and then everything should fall into place, I believe. Also, we've still got to do our dirty energy. Need more electricity, says CR Lang. Absolutely. Absolutely. Well, dodge those trees, dodging and weaving. Okay, so the first thing needs to be set up differently. How close are we... To oh, goodness me. It might actually go without us, which would be typical. So iron drop-off needs to be removed. We need to add iron drop-off. And item count. Okay, iron ore. Uh, what was it? 60,000? No, is that the right one? Wait until. Oh, no, 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 no. What we want to do is wait until we have less than... Less than a certain amount. Like, 600. Just leave a tiny bit in there. 60, even. Like, unload all of it. Yeah, so less than 60. Basically, or less than 1, I could do. But Someone suggested higher, so there's probably a reason we want it to be higher. I don't know what that is. But then can we do the same the other way around? So if I delete this... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I made a boo-boo again. If I add iron loading and go item count, then we can say iron ore, you need to go when you have more than a certain amount. So we could wait here for 60,000. Something like that. Now, can we store 60,000? Quick bit of maths. They're in 50s. So this will store 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 1,000, 2,000, 2,500. So 5, 7,500 would be full. And didn't I say 60,000? So I need to put it at 6,000, which is what everyone's asking. Now people are saying derp. I don't, I don't even know what I'm doing. You can suggest something in chat. It doesn't mean I now officially understand the logic of what you're suggesting, peeps. Oh, there's a biter thing there. So uh, I need to understand it, you know. Oh, I hit sync and I hit sync again. Don't hit the train. Okay, quickly now. I guess what I should do is flick that to. Oh, it's the wrong one. No, 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 no. Manual, stop, stop him. Oh, oh, who had a brain smart? And they call me a derp. Okay, yeah, that looked like it totally worked. It unloaded everything. Now I want to go here and change that from 60k to 6k, right? So when it's got more than 6k, it'll continue. Excellent. Let's hope that continues doing its thing. We'll monitor it from the map. Speaking of which, we've got a radar up the top there. It's starting to scan the area. But we need more power. That's definitely our next, our next uh, objective, isn't it? Okay, so let's go look at this. That's what I like to see. Everything's backed up. This works pretty well. In fact, at this point, we don't even need a splitter, I think. You could point it into the side of that one, but... Anyway, that clearly works. That's clearly the throughput that we're looking for. The output, it kind of looks like we could have had more furnaces. Oh, wait a minute. Someone said 47. This is what I was trying to figure out earlier. Is it 47 per side of belt? Because belts are two-sided. Because that looks like it could be easily doubled. Um, but efficiency modules and stuff will help with that later. So now our iron is actually going the best it can. Oh, wait a minute. Of course, we've got the power slowdown. So we don't even know if it's running right. 
Right, thoughts, things, stuff, always happening. Always happening, innit? Let's go turn you here. I'll take back all of that. Um, right, and we've got to make more stuff and things happen over here now. So I guess I'm probably going to pick up some of that sweet iron we're pumping into the system. Thank you very much. And we'll use that to make things. Where are you? Okay, so steam engines. One, two, three, four. One, two. Silence Banks has changed drop-off back to empty. No reason to keep any in the train since they're stored in the chest anyway. Yeah, yeah, we'll probably will. I was just, you know, figuring things out a step at a time. That's probably a good idea. Okay, so you're going to go there and there next. And that one's going to get broken. Okay, um, going to need some pipes up in here. Where are the pipes? There they are. Oh, that one's already in place. Right, now I need those. So we've got room for f maybe three. I could definitely do with one less of those. So it looks like we'll be able to squeeze one more. So we're going to go one boiler, two steam engines. And then I'm going to need some pipes. Okay, all this stuff's in this part of the inventory. Steam engine, a one. Oh no, you don't quite fit. Oh, the amount of pollution is disgusting. Those poor aliens. The things we do to this this environment, I tell you. If this were planet Earth, people would be upset. They'd be outraged. They'd be saying, "We demand change right now. This is unsustainable." That's what they'd be saying, peeps. If we were doing this on Earth. Oh goodness me. They'll have none of it. Right, let's go put in some inserters. Do your job. Do your business. You need power. Let me get you some of that sweet, sweet power. Right. We have now expanded our uh, power production a little bit, I guess. And its satisfaction is almost about to go into the yellow. But it's not, is it? It's not good enough. We need a new power setup. That's probably going to be our uh, objective next time. Cool, and probably to like secure some coal because this is going to run out. Our coal demand has kind of peaked around here, hasn't it? Actually, no. Again, it's probably this. It's probably this that's affecting the speed of it. And look, look what's look what's using it all. Jeez, so much power needed. Maybe I'll just set up another one of these. I mean, a good place to do that would be alongside the belt in that direction. But the steel, we're not ready to replace yet. Uh, some of the, you've never had a belt in front of you. What is that about? That's some terrible oversight right there. Um, one of these is, is re two of them over here are replaceable. Could probably expand this a little bit. Not that we need to. I came over here to take some away so it would uh, not drain as much power and I've ended up putting down more. It's just typical, isn't it? Once you replace the power, much less coal will be used. That's true. Yeah, yeah. That's very true. Um, I'm just thinking... So this, this could literally run out at some point, right? This could backfire. We want to switch over to solar power soon, I think. That's for sure. I can't really make too much of a change here. Would adding more steam engines help at all? Or is it always going to be two boiler? Like that. You missed a belt, people are saying. What? I'd never do such a thing. Now I'm stuck on this side. <laughs> yeah, I guess, I guess we're at a little bit of a crossroads here and we need to make a decision. Do we start putting resources into solar power straight away? Or do we expand the steam? Kind of seems to me like uh, expanding the steam is going to be a bit problematic with the low amount of uh, coal. And obviously the next step is... Yeah, look at this. Like it, It's proper running out around here. It might even be a good idea to just slow down the amount going elsewhere for a moment. To keep all of our factory running. Because if this runs out, like it's lights out for the factory. And it is, it is getting there. So that 
moving that one inserter off was probably a very good idea. We need this coal to go elsewhere. Solar, says Johnny Fight. Well, let's go check. We actually have solar panels available. What we don't have are the accumulators, but the accumulators can be made with batteries. We have lots of batteries. Um, there's also another bit of research that can be done to help all of this. So... Hmm... Wait, I'm losing my train of thought here. My thought, my thoughts are going all over the place. Solar panel first, yeah. Accumulator, iron and battery. That's got to be super sweet and super simple to set up. I mean, there's literally batteries there and iron there. I could possibly make a quick temporary thing. So there's batteries there as well. I mean, we'll probably do it the proper way, but it feels like I can make something... In fact, I am actually going to do it temporarily. Um, what we'll do is we will put a belt there. Okay. Um, we, we're probably going to expand this up soon if we're going to start using these batteries. So let's actually do it further up. Alright, so there's room for more batteries. That's awesome. Then somewhere up here, we'll just simply... Uh, was that a mistake? <laughs> uh, we'll start from here then. So I'm going to go like that. Might need a little bit more uh, wiggle room here. Okay, we're going to put a filter inserter down. In this spot and in that spot. We're going to set this one up first to do iron. Right, it's going to put iron on which side of the belt? Ah, perfect, sort of. That needs to be one block higher then. Filter insert. You're going to move batteries. They're going to be on the right side of the track. And everything's just wonderful. Okay, let's set up a couple of accumulator things. That's not what they're called. What time do you usually stream until today, says CR Lang? Um, I can stream for a little while longer. I'm not sure if I will, though. We're kind of at a bit of a, a point here where maybe thinking about what's going on is a good idea. Right, anyway, it's about to make these machines. We're going to have one, two, three. Our first thing is going to go there. Our second one is there. One, two, three. Okay, where are the machines? Oh, yeah, one there, one there. Let's see, we're going to make those, and we're going to make those. We'll put one here. Uh, going to need a couple of them. Got too much stuff in the wrong place in my inventory at the moment. For now, I'm just going to, I'm going to limit this actually. Ah, oh, look, it, it all collapsed, peeps. It all collapsed before we could even make the accumulators. It all fell apart. This might this might be seriously tricky to reboot everything. Also, having those robots fly around might be a problem. Um, okay, so I wanted to find where we're making solar panels. They're being made up here. We probably should have made the accumulators in this area, but we don't have the materials for it. So we have that many, and I decided to not ever make any more. So we don't have any pre-prepared. These robots are probably all about to run out. Um, let's take all of that so they can't do anything else. Yeah, it looks like they're running out of power. Unplug the electric fernie, says Nickel. That's probably a great idea. We've still got some of the old systems in place. This is what's kind of worrying about this game, though, is that you can build up so much infrastructure, if you overload it, it all falls apart at the same time. Which is kind of hilarious. Let's see if we can reboot it. Now all the belts have backed up the materials there as well. How do we kickstart this? We have to get coal into our boilers. So luckily we've got a big stockpile of it. And we reckon we're going to turn these things off. Be nice if there was a way to like just hit a switch here or something. Anyway, those are all disconnected. Let's try and get it all back online. Alright, here we go. Moment of truth. 
Can we get it started up again? Uh, some of these are already powered, actually. Is that it? Is that good enough? Are we online? Is the coal gonna? The coal is flowing again. That's the main thing. Got to get the coal flowing down here, and then the, you know that you're done all right. Um, Twitch Kirby's is here. Subscribing Twitch Kirby's. Thank you so much for your subscription. I appreciate it. I hope you're enjoying the stream that we're doing. I think we know what our objective for the next stream is right to just manufacture as many accumulators and solar panels as we can. Produce solid fuel, says Slava. That might be an alternative, but this system isn't good enough, so we know what we're doing next stream now, right? I hope. Uh, another thing we could disconnect is all of our iron production up the top as well. Those miners will be just wrecking us, basically. I did wonder, though, if the train stopped here permanently and it backed up all the way up top, if it would then, um, if it would then stop using the power when the minor drills turn off, but I think they just, once they're on, even if they're not doing anything, they just take power. So, I'm going to disconnect this. That's the... Oh no, we're actually on top now. Well, I'm going to disconnect it anyway while we make a switch. So now, as you can see, doing far, far better. That being said, if we're not underperforming, there's no penalty. Hmm, we'll come back to it. Right, so in the next stream... We're going to focus on solar power. Let's see what's happening. This is being made here. Electronic circuits are going to absolutely throttle this. That's going to be a nightmare, I tell you. Trying to get more of those with our current system. Because that's got low priority on it. Over here, we're not having too much problem making these. So we can start to build a little bit of an array. I think the transition will be slow. I think we'll be doing it bit by bit. Now what's going on here? Did they all run out of power mid-air? Kind of looks like they did. Right, that's where we're wrapping this one up, peeps. I hope you enjoyed it. And, uh, oh, so miners don't have passive drain. Thanks for the heads up, Janny. Or, or Jan One Eye. Anyway, peeps, that's where we're going to wrap this one up. I hope you enjoyed this Factorio stream. We'll be back again on Monday with another one. The weekend will be Minecraft. And uh, I will have a plan, I hope. So massive thank you to everyone who subscribed, resubscribed, donated and cheered. As always, I appreciate your support. And uh, who shall I raid? I could raid False again, but she's going to stop streaming soon. So uh, I'll just raid False and you can have some Hermitcraft fun. Right. I'll see you all later, peeps. Bye-bye.